Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, here with our uh, Denver Metro Area update <clears throat> on uh, inventory, homes listed, sold, um, all that fun stuff. Um, and inventory actually uh, ticked down a tad bit, I think coming in the end of August, 1st of September, Labor Day, um, people took a break um, from home activities, focus on uh, getting back to school, enjoying the end of uh, summer. I guess unofficially, it's still really hot um, here for beginning of September. Um, so the number of new listings uh, dropped um, around that 300 mark. Um, the closed, you know, in a month that always bumps up 1,700. Um, those going under contract is what stayed consistent at 1,600. Um, so we've been right in that uh, 16, 1,700 mark for the past uh, a couple months actually. So buyers are still. Uh, been very consistent in getting homes under contract dis despite the fluctuation in the rates. Um, we've seen the rates, you know, hit six, come down to five even, and now they bounce back up, um, keep approaching six again. Freddie Mac had them at 5.66. I honestly thought they would have jumped up a little higher um, given the <clears throat> recent market activity and the Fed speaking, as I've talked to before. Um, but I've definitely talked to other people around, uh, around you know, looking at homes, thinking that uh, the market's going to crash. Um, home prices are going to crash. I still haven't seen seen that. Uh, definitely seeing listings um, drop prices. Some of the homes I've had listed, uh, we've dropped the price too. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily call that a crash. Um, what's interesting behind it all, the rental market is still extremely strong. Um, talked to some potential clients. Um, they want to rent, and just in case... Uh, prices drop and get a better price next year. Um, I don't know, that, again, that that's really going to be the case. The rents, you know, typically in markets, if you see rents uh, in, still increasing, um, home prices of homes will uh, will shortly follow suit. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions on that, let me know. Um, still, um, the jury's out on a recession. Uh, everybody thinks it's happening, it's going to happen. Um, I think uh, we have the first report of, of a negative GDP. Um, so we just need two of those in a row to officially be a recession. Um, but uh, we'll keep watching the CPI and the Fed. They meet uh, next week, I believe. Um, and CPI will be coming out, out uh, later this week around the 10th. Um, let's see how those report. I, I expect the CPI will uh, you know, continue to uh, trend down. It'll still be high year over year, but not as high as it's been previously reported in prior months. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, hope all's well. Have a great week.